Hi family, I really thought it was going to go on to the jar story, but um, so this is part two with Mrs. Shunamite. Um, there were some things, important things that I think I need to say. And pardon me, I am going to have to peek at my notes sometimes. But that story is such an amazing story. I mean, incredible. I simply love it. Now, for her to say all is well in the face of a dead child of, of, of her son who died in her lap is totally incredible. Now, a detail which I miss, which I think is vitally important, is that Mrs. Shunamai never told her husband that the child had died when he came, um, when she went to, went, went to him to get him to get her some transportation. Now, question, why you think she did not tell her husband? There are some things certainly to be inferred from that. Now, there are times, family, when raw faith may well be misunderstood and discouraged. So, it is wisdom not to divulge the thoughts of your heart, aspirations, and expectations from God to others. Now, does that make sense to you? What do you think her husband would have told her? Do you think he would have said, oh, wonderful, that is a great idea. You run up to the prophet and get him to come back and, you know, awaken our child from the dead. Most definitely not. Um, so for the husband, it would have seemed an impossible situation and her actions would have appeared totally ludicrous. Our extremities, we are told, are God's opportunities. And that is really the essence of raw faith. This lady's raw faith did not allow her, the, the second point to be noted, is that her raw faith did not allow her to speak to any intermediary person. So Gehazi, when she came upon him, was given the same answer when she was asked, is your husband well? Are you well? Is the child well? And her response again was, all is well. What I would say, family, is that raw faith goes straight to the source of power. Raw faith stands not in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And in this narrative, we can certainly say that Elijah, Elisha represented God. The thing is, he had spoken a word in her life, given a prophecy which had, had come through at the appointed time, just as he had said. So she knew the true source of power. Raw faith will know the true source of power. She refused to accept the proposition of Elisha sending Gehazi to do the job. And she absolutely refused also to leave without the prophet coming with her. She was not backing down. Raw faith under the inspiration of the Spirit, will not accept less than God's best. To my mind, this lady lived the understanding of Jeremiah 32, 17, which says, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you to do. And that is an element of raw faith. It does not um, it does not limit God. It knows that there is nothing too hard for God to do. So family, the very essence of raw faith is believing, yes, that nothing is impossible with God. It is knowing that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And it is knowing how to hold on and not give up. By the grace of God, may he grant each of us that raw faith. God bless you. So next time, next time, we're going to go to the jar story. God bless you. I am really excited about these videos. And I'd, I'd like you to, you know, uh, I'd like to encourage you to share them with your friends and family. And as a brother of mine at Governor, he'd like to say even your enemies.
God bless you.